Hey, this this is Mark with Frontline Bible Stories. We're out here. It's been what about 20 years since uh, you know, it's been a while since uh, the uh, wow, uh, since uh, Ehud and one of the Israelites have rebelled. I think what it has been about 20 years. So the Israelites have rebelled and they've uh, taken off. Uh, they start following other gods and well, God's like kill all the mosquitoes. God's like, I'm not going to have any more of this. Uh, oh. So they went and, uh, where did we go? Yeah, the, God said, yeah, I turned them over. And, oh, it's been 20 years since the Canaanites have uh, moved in, started harassing them since they've turned away. The king of the uh, Canaanites, he's evil king. He's been treating them cruelly and mean. And, uh, the Israelites have uh, gotten uh, Barak uh, to uh, lead them, uh, and he's leading the army. And he's like, "Hey, we're gonna go and take them." But he goes to Deborah, which is the interesting—a female judge. So, you girls out there that think uh, you know only guys did stuff in the Bible, well, Deborah's out here. She's uh, uh, coming, uh, and she's the judge in Israel, and everyone's going to her for advice. Well, Barak. Uh, Went to her for advice and said, hey, what do I do? And she said, oh, take 10,000 men and go after the uh, Canaanites. And we'll go and we'll get them together. And they'll all meet on the field of battle and you'll be victorious. And Brock, he just didn't trust her. And he couldn't, he didn't want to go on his own. So, so he's like, all right, fine. He's like, I'll go, but you're going to have to go with me. She's like, all right, I'll go. But... Because you wouldn't go in here on your own, like I told you, you're not going to get the uh, to kill the uh, uh, Sestra, the Canaanite uh, leader. You're not going to be able to get him. Uh, Victory is going to go to a woman over this battle. Sesta. Well, he's dead. It's hard to pronounce his name anyhow. Well, so the battle goes on. They attack, and they are fighting all day. They're still mopping up from them right now. But they've been fighting these guys. We've been victorious. We've knocked them out. Uh, and they just recently took tail, uh, took tail and run. Round the, I'm saying right now we've rounded up the stragglers. But they took tail and ran. Their leader, he took off. And he went to uh, got to a jail's tent. Uh, which is right over here. Uh, and... <laughs> Uh, jail was his ally. Well, his wife wasn't his ally. So, commander went in there and said, hey, I need some water. And his wife was like, oh, here, give us some, some warm milk, puts them to sleep, gets them to sleep, and they're like, yeah, just tell them I left. Well, jail's, uh, his wife's like, all right, yeah, I, we got you covered. Waited till she got to sleep. He got to sleep. And then she took a tent peg and her am hammer, snuck into him, Put that tin peg right up there to his temple, and then you one solid boom killed him. Uh, that's take it went straight through his head and stuck into the ground, and he died right there in that tent. And when the Israelis uh, we finally caught up with them, that's what we found here. So I get the victory here today completely, mop up everything. We should have uh, some peace in Israel for another few more years. I think what 40 more years uh yes yeah, so these are that's real israelites uh here the israelites they can't seem to keep uh following god just like us i mean god delivers us saves us but we turn around and go back again so uh hopefully one day they'll learn so this is mark with frontline bible stories signing off uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you i think in about 40 years so you guys have a good day bye